Well, more than 100 volunteers hammered, sawed, and sewed for a good cause in Coeur d'Alene and Post Falls today. The work is part of a regional conference on service and volunteerism in KXY4's Annie Bishop live in Post Falls tonight. Annie, what kind of projects are we talking about? Well, really anything from making bluebird nesting homes with fish and game to actually building this home here behind me and getting it ready for a family of four to move in. With his shades on and hammer in his hand, 23-year-old Kyle Livingston is ready to get to work. Livingston is nailing siding on a Habitat for Humanity home. We're doing pretty well so far. It looks like we got about four feet already added on. Livingston is from Ketchum, Idaho. He's one of 200 volunteers in town this week talking about how to better serve their communities and recruit more volunteers. Volunteerism is very important in general. Um, I believe that everyone, if you live in a community, you know, you should be, have to give back to that community if you expect the community to do things for you. Nearby, more volunteers raise four walls to make a shed. They check the level and <laughs> nail it down. This is just one of seven community service projects throughout Post Falls and Coeur d'Alene today. Other projects include helping out at the local food bank and making blankets and cards for seriously ill children. I think everyone should have should volunteer and should feel the need and the want to volunteer. You'll find 26-year-old Martha Slaybaugh inside with a roller and a bucket of white paint. For instance, I'm supposed to start in the middle and then I'm supposed to go back over it. Slaybaugh has been with AmeriCorps for two years. She tutors and mentors both young and old neighbors in Moscow. Pretty incredible. It's, it's, a, it's a good program. Slaybaugh says it doesn't take much to make a difference. You have a few hours, one time, that you want to donate. That That's remarkable, too. So. And the conference wraps up tomorrow. They will certainly be leaving our neighborhood and certainly this house in much better shape than when they arrived. A Habitat for Humanity hopes to have that family of four in their new house by this spring. Reporting live in Post Falls, Annie Bishop, KXLY4.